Yo yo, we're back in our FX, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to get this liquid glass invisible FX. It looks clean as hell, and it is pretty easy to do. So let's just jump into the tutorial. So in my timeline, you can see I have this clip right here, which we will be adding the effect on. So to start off, well, firstly, what we're gonna do is duplicate our clip, and we actually gonna name this duplication roto. Then we gonna select this clip and simply rotoscope out our subject quickly. I'm gonna set the resolution to full and go into the rotoscope panel and quickly roto him out if you don't already know to rotoscope you just gotta select your tool and just like brush over your subject basically something like this and if you make some mistakes like if you make some mistake like this you can use the alt key you can hold the alt key to remove it like that so yeah quickly do that i'm not going super in depth in it right now because i'm assuming a lot of people know about this so i'm just gonna quickly do this right here and see ya guys now after you done your rotoscope and select out your subject make sure to freeze it right here to lock in your rotoscope i see a lot of people making a mistake of not freezing it it will just mess it up when we add fx senses so make sure you freeze it firstly then after the freezing is done go back into your composition panel and if i like hide my background layer you can see our subject is rotoscoped out and ready to go uh, we'll actually name the background layer bg right here now we actually gonna make a inverted in inverted roto layer so for that we'll be duplicating this roto layer again and we'll be naming this something like roto invert right here and then again selecting our roto brush tool we're gonna double click on the scene to go into the layer then after you are in layer we just gonna unfreeze it to remember we freeze it last time so we're gonna go over to the main frame right here and unfreeze it right here real quick as the name says it unfreezes it then we're gonna go into our fx and control this time and we're gonna go over to invert foreground and background and just take that right there it will easily invert it then we can freeze it back in and lock it in now after that's done go back into your composition panel and now if i hide every single layer you can see subject area is hollow that's exactly what we want then in the roto layer we got our roto of course and the background is everything so background contains everything right there now to make our clean plate what we're gonna do is make sure our like roto invert is only visible all of the other layers should be like turned off for now then we gonna go into this content of air field right here in the right side in the right side right here and then we gonna bring up the max expansion and make sure the settings are in this right here then just hit generate fill right here what it will do is basically generate a fill over that hollow subject so it looks like invisible effect basically so yeah just let it do its thing for now it will take some time as you can see right here now after that's done you can see our subject is actually disappeared from the scene because it actually made a like a fill png sequence on top of everything now actually what we gonna do is select this fill layer and the roto invert layer together and then right click it go over to the pre-comp and just pre-comp it together and you can name it like clean plate right here now we actually gonna put this clean plate before our like roto layer so right around like here and turn on our roto layer then you can see our like scene is basically looking normal but we are actually set it up to create those like invisible effect now if that makes sense now firstly what we gonna do is is go over to where we want the effect to happen so i'm like here then we're gonna trim our roto layer this roto this like roto layer right here so it turns into roto 2 then what we're gonna do is hide this right here and then i'm gonna name it something like map because we'll be using this as a map layer then we can also trim our clean plate layer so it lasts around like that frame then you can turn on your busy layer as well so we have the busy on the first part of the clip as well if that makes sense the first effect we'll be adding will be on the clean plate layer so select the clean plate layer and we actually gonna add an effect called distort chroma in here if you don't already know this is a sapphire plugin it helps to add these type of distortion in seconds i got a whole preset pack made with this one completely goated so yeah i really recommend using this but anyways in lens we are gonna set it as our map layer that we created and make sure in source it says effects and marks right here then in the matte layer we are gonna do the same thing so set it as that and effects and marks then now if we lower down the blur lens you can see we are already getting those liquid glass type of effect going on right here but we of course not leaving it right here i got a lot of sauce to like add on this so i'm gonna set the blur lens to around like six and bring up the value a little bit more around like here 
so it looks a little soft as well yeah something like that now after your distro chroma is done make sure to toggle switches and modes and where it says track mat right here just select this tool and select your like map layer as the track mat so in simple words it's basically like rotoscope out our like liquid glass layer as well then we can actually like pick on this together so it's on a single layer as you can see and this is our background layer now we can add different effect in here to make it cooler i like i really like to combine it with something like a glow so for that i'll be using optical glow if you don't have optical glow you can use the normal after effects glow right here looks cool but i like to go with optical glow or even like deep glow if you have like deep glow is a solid option but i'm gonna go with something like optical glow then bring up the size right here and lower down the amount a little bit I don't like there and bring up the highlights only a little bit. I don't like there, something like that. And then alpha channel set is extended almost so we get back the background. That's low key too much. So I don't like five. So I'm gonna go a little further and hit the stopwatch in the amount. Bring up the keyframes and go into the first frame and bring it up to around like here. Then easy is those keyframe. Go into the graph and make a graph like this in the value graph. Yeah, something like this makes like a flash effect basically. Maybe you can bring it up more. And now you can see that is looking pretty clean right there. But with the glow, it loses contrast. So for that, I'll use something like a curves to bring back the like the contrast basically. One more thing you can do is add an adjustment layer and put it before your pre comp and trim it. And you can use something like a CC vignette on there and put the focus point onto your subject. So it basically like focus on your subject like that, something like there. Then remember, we also got another rotoscope layer, which is this one. We can use this to transition into the like like the liquid glass so for that i'll be using something like optical glow again remember we made this flash of optical glow at the beginning so we're gonna like lower it down at the first and bring it up at the end so i'm just gonna bring up the size lower down the amount at the first and as it goes just bring it up and set it to extended almost right here then easy those keyframe again go into the graph and make a graph like this so it basically like rises up basically creating a flash type of transition between our rotor and the liquid glass effect now to make it all smooth i'm gonna add an adjustment layer and trim it to our like invisible layer right here then we're gonna go over to our fx and presets in animation presets and user presets I'm, i'll be actually be using my essential fx and transition bundle if you don't already know this is a pack that comes with 80 plus fx super drag and drop ready to use i dropped this pack like few months ago and it has been absolutely blowing up in the underground everybody uses it almost every vfx artist uses it because it is so easy drag and draw and it makes the editing process so much faster so if you want to check it out i'll link in the description but from here i'll be actually be using minimax head from the feed to minimax head right here and it will add this super cool like like a minimax head basically if you want to make this like add a turbulent displacement and add an exposure with a minimax but if you want to automate this process this like preset pack does it for you you can see every Everything about this transition is super smooth not only this it comes with a lot of effects as i said so if i make another adjustment layer and so i guess another one from the pack from the v1 you can also use something like a best wiggle look look super super hard with this one as you can see or even something like hard wiggle 2 from the v2 like the possibilities are endless because there there are so many presets every single preset is crafted to the last detail so every graph is smooth and all so yeah but for me i'll just be going for this minimax head because i think it looks really hard with the liquid glass effect right there and yeah with that minimax head i think our effect is done and looking something like this so hope you like this video if you did please consider the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more thoughts like this but i'm gonna see you on the next one peace